Welcome to Movies We Love Recapped. Today we will explore a 2019 supernatural thriller entitled Z. Spoilers ahead. Before we start, hit the like button. It's free and will help me to grow this channel. Stay to the very end and I'll give you my personal take on this strange thriller. Here we go. In the opening scene we meet a family residing in a large house. The affectionate duo of Beth and Kevin are parents to their son Josh, who appears to struggle with forming friendships. On one particular night, the loving couple engages in cozy cuddles while watching television, but they are startled by strange sounds emanating from upstairs. Concerned, Beth ventures upstairs and discovers her son conversing with an unseen entity while he plays with his toys. Assuming it to be an imaginary friend, she confides in her spouse and they find it very adorable. However, at school, Josh's teacher expresses apprehension over the content of his scribbles on paper. Beth's confidence in her son's imaginary friend starts to waver as she notices some peculiar behaviors. Her son wants a designated spot for his friend at the dinner table, demands that his bedroom door remain closed because his friend likes it dark, and has even given him a name, Z. As her son becomes increasingly fixated on Z, Beth begins to feel uneasy she watches with growing concern and begins to alarm herself when she sees a toy train glowing in the dark, mistaking it for the eyes of a creature. Shortly after, Josh's teacher contacts Beth and delivers distressing news that her son has been suspended from school indefinitely. Apparently, he's been acting out, including physically assaulting his classmates. Shockingly, it turns out that Kevin knew all about Josh's behavior and had been signing the red notes sent home from school, but he failed to inform his wife. When confronted, Kevin dismisses the situation, claiming that kids will be kids. Josh is now stuck at home, but he seems to be the only one happy about it. Instead of attending school, he gets to have fun at the play zone. However, Beth experiences a frightening incident when she sees someone crawling behind her son as he goes through a tunnel. When she tells Kevin about the incident, he brushes it off, attributing it to her active imagination. He reveals that he too felt like someone was watching him earlier, but it turned out to be nothing more than his own jacket. Josh's parents take him to see Beth's family psychiatrist, Dr. Seeger, who assures Beth that her son's behavior is normal and he appears to be an ordinary child. However, he suggests medication as an option, which Kevin refuses. As Josh exits the room, he calls out to his friend Z, leaving Dr. Seeger confused. He does not immediately inform Beth, but instead waits until more incidents occur before revealing the truth. Meanwhile, Beth's mother is on her deathbed, and her sister Jenna is too self-absorbed to visit regularly. Beth is haunted by memories of her father's suicide amidst all of this. Beth visits her friend Georgia in an attempt to arrange a play date for Josh but she soon discovers that George's son Daniel wants nothing to do with him. While the two mothers discuss the matter, Daniel has a violent fall from an upstairs railing and is rushed to the hospital by paramedics. In her anger and distress, Georgia bans Beth and Josh from her home. After the incident, Beth concludes that Josh needs to be medicated. Later on, Josh creates a mural of Z on his bedroom wall. Although Kevin initially covers it up with paint, the mural inexplicably reappears. After Josh's milk is consistently drugged, he begins to behave normally. However, one morning he wakes up with a fever and vomits up his breakfast. Kevin discovers that Beth had been secretly medicating their son and assumes that the vomiting is a side effect. Beth confesses that she hid the medication from him as payback or withholding the red notes from school. Following her mother's death, Beth is tasked with clearing out her childhood home alongside her selfish sister, Jenna. Among the items she discovers is an alphabet toy and a videotape. Although the toy doesn't work, Beth takes it home as a memento. When she views the videotape, she sees a younger version of herself calling out to a mysterious entity named Z. Beth replays the scene repeatedly before ultimately burning the tape. Later that night, the alphabet toy begins to play the letters Z over and over again. Beth approaches the toy and notes down the letters that light up. She deciphers the anagram to be Imagine Z. 
and decides to try it out. She draws a bath, lights candles, and repeats the phrase over and over again. Suddenly, Z appears before her, causing Beth to scream in terror. Kevin comes to her aid and consoles her. Shortly thereafter, Dr. Seeger contacts Beth and reveals that Z was also her childhood imaginary friend and that she had displayed similar misbehaviors. He shares a videotape with her on which she pledges to remain loyal to Z forever. Beth immediately calls Kevin who is investigating a strange noise in the house. Z attacks him upon her arrival and she discovers that the house is on fire. In the chaos, Kevin is thrown down the stairs. Beth locates Josh who is standing in terror but he is suddenly pulled into a locked room before she can reach him. Desperate, she promises to comply with Z's demands if he releases Josh. To her relief, the door opens and she emerges with her son. The following day, Jenna complains about having to babysit Josh, despite knowing that her sister has recently lost her husband. Upon entering her childhood home, Beth is forced to wear a dress and carry out domestic duties for Z. She shares a bed with him plays games, and even dresses up in her mother's wedding gown. She pretends they are now married. As they play hide-and-seek, Beth briefly glimpses her deceased father hanging from a ceiling fan. Beth attempts to communicate with Josh via Jenna over the phone. Z becomes enraged and escapes the house, intent on harming Beth's son. Beth alerts Jenna, who finds Josh playing on train tracks just as a train approaches. Beth is desperate for Josh to be rescued. Dr. Seeger returns to Beth's mother's house with two police officers. From outside, Seeger insists that Beth can control Z, reminding her that she created him and she can destroy him. When the officers break down the door, they find Beth hanging from the ceiling fan in her childhood bedroom. Fortunately, Josh is unharmed. In the following scene, Jenna is given the task of taking care of Beth, who is in a state of shock. She also has to prepare dinner and look after Josh. Jenna, who used to avoid responsibilities, is now burdened with too many of them. At night, Josh bids goodnight to everyone, including his late father, in the darkness. He then bids goodnight to Z. The film ends here. Okay, here is my take. Since Josh wishes the living and the dead goodnight, it remains to be seen whether Z is still there because of Beth or destroyed because Beth is incapable of imagination now and has successfully destroyed him in the process. The movie has some intriguing moments and the first half is particularly engaging as the story develops. However, the second half falters as it struggles to come up with a suitable conclusion. The film never explains how Z was able to escape from Beth's imagination and enter her son. It is left to the audience to draw their own conclusions and to speculate whether Beth's imagination was also nourishing Josh while he was in the womb. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this recap, please hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you next time.